In this lesson, we are going to be looking at GCSE graphical inequalities, how to shade your regions in. This topic causes a lot of stress to some students, so hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to have more clarity. Now, before we begin, what I'd like you to do is interchangeably think of the greater than or less than sign as an equal sign. So in this first example, I want you to think of this as y is equal to x minus 3, and then draw that line. So what does the line y equals x minus 3 look like? Well, you need to have knowledge of gradients and how to draw straight line graphs. And for that, I do have a video on my channel, which you could go and look it up. Just type in straight line graphs. Right, so let's draw y is equal to x minus 3. We know that the starting position is going to be the y-intercept of minus 3. So we find where minus 3 is right there, and we know that we have a gradient of 1, because that's what the value here is. So we go across by 1 and up by 1. So that's where it will be. So let's just put a mark here. where We start off there, and once again, we go across 1, up 1. We know it's a positive gradient, by the way, because it's a positive gradient right there. So that would be here, and then we can continue doing that. And then we have our line. So now, going back to this sign right there, it is not equal to, it's just y is greater than, which means that this line is going to be a dotted line, okay, like that. So let's draw in our dotted line. I'm going to do this like this. And another thing I want you to do is extend the line. Don't just stop here, okay? Students often just stop here. Just go along, okay? Let your ruler guide you all the way as far as you can go. Now, because it's just greater than, it's not equal to, we are going to have to make this line dotted. And to do that, I'm just going to dot out just like this. You don't need to do that. When you draw your line, just draw it dotted. There we go. So that's drawn. Now, let's take a closer look at what this means. Make sure that y is always on its own. As you're going to see in this question later on, we need to make y on its own. So we look at this and what region do we need? We want y is greater than this, x minus 3. So when is y greater than x minus 3? We want above the line. So when it's greater than, we want above the line. This is the region that we want. Now, I am going to shade the region that we don't want, okay? So I'm going to shade all of this out. And I'll tell you why we do this when we go to the questions to follow. So this is done now. So we want this. So all of our values are in this region, okay? Let's go on to this next one. We've got y is less than or equal to a half x minus 3. So let's start off with the y-intercept. Once again, it's minus 3, so it's in the same place as the other one. But this time, the gradient is a half. So let's write down our gradient, which is a half. And how do we find the gradient? It's y divided by x. So what do we do? We go across on the x-axis by 2 and up on the y-axis by 1. It's a positive gradient as well, so that's something to be mindful of. Right? So let's go and do that. So we start on the, our minus 3, we go across by 2, and we go up by 1. So it's going to be right here. We go across by 2, up by 1. Across by 2, up by 1. So let's put those values in right there, and then we're going to draw a line. Once again, extend your line out. Okay, Go as far as you can with your ruler, like that. Now this line is going to be a solid line because it's equal to as well. Okay, unlike the previous one, which was dotted, it wasn't equal to. It was just greater than, okay? So what part of this line do we want? Which part of the graph do we want? We know that it's y is less than half x minus 3. We want this side, okay, below the line. Previously, it was greater than, uh, y was greater than um, x minus 3, so we want it above. But on this one, we want below the line. So we are going to shade out this region. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so this is the region that we want. And this was the region that we wanted earlier. Okay, now let's move on to this next one. This time we don't have y on its own. So the first thing that we want to do is make y our subject. How? First of all, we're going to take the 3x over to the other side by doing minus 3x. And then we're going to get rid of this 2 by dividing by 2. Okay, 
So let's do that in steps. So we have 2y is greater than 6 minus 3x. So all I've done, taken this over. Okay, I've still got 2y on this side right there. And keep this inequality sign exactly where it is. Okay, like that. And to get rid of the 2 now, so what am I going to do? I'm going to divide by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is, well, we'll just write it like this for now. And then we'll simplify again. So we have y is greater than 6 divided by 2 is 3 minus 3 over 2x. So what's our gradient? Our gradient is minus this time 3 over 2. So y divided by x. So what do we want to do? Remember this time the gradient is negative. So we're going to start on our y-intercept of 3. But we're going to go down. It's going to go down like that. How do we go down? We go across this way by 2. And we're going to go down by 3. Okay. So let's start with our position of 3 on that y-intercept. We're going to go across by 2 because of this. And we're going to go down by 3 right there. Okay. So our first mark is going to be, or well, the second mark is going to be there. Once again, go across by 2 and down by 3. 1, 2, 3. Right there. Once again, do it again. Right there. And we're going to now join the points with a ruler, making sure that we go all the way. Now, let's go back and look at the inequality. We want y is greater than. And also, it's a solid line again. It's not going to be a dotted line. It would be a dotted line if it was y is greater than 3 minus 3 over 2x. Okay, it would be dotted then. But this is equal to as well. So we leave it solid. Okay. We want above the line. Y is greater than. So we want above the line. We want all of that. So we want to get rid of this. So we're going to shade it out. Okay. And that's done. So we've done three examples now. Let's now go on to the typical exam question that you might find on your GCSE exam. On a graph, use shading to show the region R that satisfies the inequalities. Y is less than X x is less than 3 and y is greater than or equal to 4 minus x so individually we need to draw all of these on this graph let's start off with this one once again remember y is equal to x that's how we're going to think of this and we know the line y equals x is just a straight line like that so we can put that in right there there we go now is it a dotted line or a solid line well this is just less than so it's going to be a dotted line, meaning it can't be any solutions, can't be on this line. So we're going to uh, dot out those lines. So let me quickly do that. There we go. We've got our dotted line now. Let's move on to the next one. X is less than 3. We're going to think of it as X is equal to 3. And where is the line where X is equal to 3? It's right here. Okay. Once again, it's going to be a dotted line because it's not equal to 3. It's not less than or equal to 3, I should say. Okay, I don't want you to get confused with this. Okay, so it's going to be a dotted line. So let's dot our line in. There we go. And finally, we have y is greater than or equal to 4 minus x. So with this one, we're going to write down the gradient, which is minus 1. Now it's going to be minus 1 over 1. It's the same thing, okay, as minus 1, and so that we can see how we are going to draw our line. We're going to start off with the y-intercept, which is 4, so it's going to start off here, and it's a negative gradient, meaning it's going to go down, all right? So it's going to go from 4, 1 across, 1 down, 1 across, 1 down, 1 across, 1 down, okay? So the points are going to be here, like that. I'm going to now put that line in. And this time, the line is going to be solid or dotted. Well, it's y is greater than or equal to, which means it's going to be a solid line. So there you go. Now, let's go back to all of these lines and shade in the part that we don't need. All right. So starting with this one, which was here, y is less than x. Less than means we want what's below the line. We want this part. So we don't want all of that. So we're going to now shade out all of that. Stay next to that line. Don't worry about the other lines. If you're going over it, just focus on your line here. 
okay, that you're dealing with. Okay, so there we go, we shaded it out. So that one's done. Now, what about this one? This line was this one, remember? We want where x is less than 3. Well, this is where 3 is. We want that part, okay? We want less than 3. All the values of x are less than 3 that way, right? So we don't want this part. We're going to shade that out. There we go. On to the last one. Y is greater than 4 minus X. So this is the line here. We want greater than. So above the line. We want above the line. We don't want this part. So let's go ahead and shade that out. So stay only on that line. Don't worry about the rest. Now what do you notice? You notice a region that is completely left unshaded. And that is the region that you want okay that's your region r so we're going to write down r right there there you go let's practice this on another question right now on to this next question now on this one i'm going to have to draw my own grid and this will give you a bit of practice as well all right so let's go ahead and first of all just write down all of our equations so we have y is less than 3x minus 4 here we have 4y is greater than or equal to x minus 12. And the last one, we have x plus y is less than or equal to 6. Now, this one's great. We can draw this straight away because in the form y equals mx plus c. This one, however, we need to get rid of the 4. So we need to divide both sides by 4 and we get a quarter x. And 12 divided by 4 is minus 3 here. Now, with this one, we just want to take the x over to the other side, so we get y on its own. So it's going to be y is less than or equal to 6 minus x. Now, let's draw one big grid where we can put all of this together. There. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's our y. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's our x. Minus 1. Let's just do a few minuses as well. The other side. There we go. That should be enough. Right. So let's start with this one. We know that the y-intercept is minus 4 and the gradient is 3. So let's just focus on the gradient. So it's going to be 3 over 1, which is y over x. Remember, 3 over 1 is the same thing as... Um, just three. The reason I've done it as three over one is so that you can see that you go across by one and up by three. Okay, starting on minus four, right there. So from there, go across by one, up by three, which is right there. Okay, across by one, up by three, there. Across by one, up by three, right there. That's enough because all we need to do is just draw the um, line. And we can use our ruler to go beyond those points. Is it a dotted line or a solid line? Well, it's y is less than, so it's not going to be inclusive of the line, so it's going to be dotted. All right, so let's just draw a dotted line. I'm just going to draw a straight line first, and then I'm going to do the dotting later. Okay, And once again, just go beyond as, as well, as much as you can, because it can be quite useful. There you go. And now I'm going to go and dot it. Remember, you can't be dotting it after drawing a solid line because you're going to have to use your rubber. And it's better just to do it dotted when you do it the first time. Okay. Right. We will shade in the parts all at the end. So let's go on to the next one. So what do we have? We have a gradient of a quarter. And starting on minus three, we are going to go across by four this time on the x. So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1 up. So this is going to be the first point, and 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1 up. Second point, 1, 2, 3, 4, we've gone off, and that's the um, next point after that. So let's put that in. So from minus 3, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 up. Let's just put that in here like that and get a ruler again and then extend our lines 
both ways as far as we can and um, it's going to be this time it's inclusive it's in um, y is greater than or equal to so it's going to be left as a solid line this time okay and the last one what is our gradient our gradient here is minus one so minus one over one so y over x and it's a negative gradient okay so it's going to go down so starting on six up here we're going to go one across one down one across one down one across one down okay so go ahead and do that okay and you don't need that many points because remember you're going to have a ruler and you're just going to rule through it anyway so there we go and just do it the other way too there we go right and once again it's going to be a solid line because it's inclusive okay so y is less than or equal to right let's go back now to the first one and start doing our shading so what do we want it's y is less than okay y is less than that means which was that line uh, that was uh, this line here so we want less than we want below the line this is the part we want we don't want all of that okay we're going to shade that out okay so let's shade it out now so let's use uh, pink so just focus on your line and shade out everything else and go down okay there we go next we want y is greater than or equal to so which is our line here it's this line right we want this part above the line because it's greater than all right it's greater than so we don't want all of that so we're going to shade that out now so keep focused on your line and just shade out the part you don't want finally last one y is less than okay it's y is less than this is the line that you drew right there what do you want you want below the line you want below the line because it's less than so you don't want all of that all right we're going to shade that out now there we go can you see we've got a region here which is unshaded that is your region that you are going to label with r so there you go hope you enjoyed this lesson and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please share this channel with your friends and family help it grow and help support other people out there who could find the content on here useful goodbye for now and i'll see you in the next video